Okay, guys, welcome to your um, bonus no contact reading for um, Aquarius. This is going to be for your October 2024. Uh, you get the rest of your October 2024, you can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. So we are going to take a look and see um, if it's a good idea for you to reach out to a person that you're in no contact with, okay? So apply this to your own unique situations. You may switch the roles if you want. Um, like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post, when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Also, if you guys are interested in wanting to book a personal reading with me, the link for that is also in the description box below. All right, so tell me about Aquarius. <laughs> the person that Aquarius is in no contact with. Is it a good idea for Aquarius to reach out to a person that they are in no contact with? For, um, oh yeah, for uh, the rest of October 2024, okay? So sorry, you guys, I'm a little distracted here. Because sometimes, um, so if you guys don't know, I, I, I live in Israel too. So I'm currently here and, you know, the situation has been really tense here. And I keep getting the alerts of, you know, in, you know perhaps incoming rockets that could be coming in here. But um, fortunately, it's not going to hit this area. Not right now. Um, so if you guys are kind of like wondering like, okay, why is he so distracted? You know, so I'm kind of looking out and also listening if the sirens are going to go off, the air raid sirens. Um, so, yeah. So that's what I've been dealing with here. <laughs> yeah, I've been in Israel for like perhaps the last month here, and it's just been way more intense than it was like earlier in the year when I was here. Because I was here from January to June, I think. Yeah, nothing really happened, but now it's kind of like becoming more and more just active. Yeah. <laughs> we have the Seven of Pentacles here and the Hangman. So it's a, if it's, is it a good idea for you to reach out to this person? Mm. You know, I feel like, you know, the best thing that you could do is learn from the mistakes that you have experienced with this individual and move on from the situation here. Yeah, I feel like this is more so your energy here, Aquarius. Yeah, some of you guys are really happy with where you guys are at. You guys are really happy that you guys have walked away from a situation here that is no longer serving a purpose in your life here. All right. In the two of wands and also the two of cups here uh you know whoever this is i do feel like this person is completely stuck on you here yeah this person is completely stuck on you this person's very much in love with you here you know it could be a situation that you're still in love with this person here but i feel like it's one of those things that i feel like you just have to do the best thing that you can for you here is it a good idea for you to reach out to this person i would say no with the knight of wands here uh, you know this, this person's not really looking for commitment here this person also has a lot of burdens that they're carrying around with them here okay um it does seem like they want to I, I feel like some of you guys could be very interested in working wanting to work things out with this individual in the future here but you know it could be a situation that you guys are just really focused on yourself yeah, with the Knight of Wands here and the Eight of Wands here, we have the Knight of Wands, Aries, little Sagittarius energy. We have the Eight of Wands here. And the Ten of Wands. The Four of Pentacles. It, it seems like, you know, there is someone here that wants to work things out. I feel like both of you, I feel like you want to work things out here too. But like I said, I don't feel like this person really has anything to give or anything consistent to offer you, or offer you here in order for this relationship to work. This person's very in and out. This person's very inconsistent here. What else do we have here for Aquarius? What will happen if Aquarius did have any sort of contact with this individual here for October? October 2024. Rest of October 2024, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. We have the Three of Cups here. And also we have the Four of Cups. Uh, you know, they're definitely coming in with, with the reconciliation. They're trying to reconcile here with you. They're looking for another opportunity here with you. Okay, let's see what else we have. We have the Four of Pentacles. We have the Four of Swords. Not the Four of Swords, I'm so sorry, the Eight of Swords.
Ace of Pentacles, and also the Seven of Swords here. Um, I don't feel like it's going to be that great. You know, with the Seven of Swords here, obviously this person is, you know, very deceptive here. You know, I feel like it's important for you to see and take it for what it is. You know, I, I do believe that with the Ace of Queen of Cups here, I do feel like there's still a lot of love for this individual here. You know, I feel like, you know, maybe you were in this energy of like, you know what, I'm going to give this person space to figure things out, to heal here. Um, I don't really feel like there's a whole lot of change here. If this person's experiencing any sort of change here, it's very glacial here. Okay, we have the uh, Hierophant here, Taurus Energy. The Four Cups, the Four Cups here. Why is the Four Cups here? The Four of Cups, and also we have the King of Swords here, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Four of Pentacles, and the Justice card, Libra Energy. Eight of Swords here, and also the Nine of Wands. Yeah. I do feel like that's. I do feel like this is an individual here that does make plans to reach out here to you. I feel like some of you guys would be really happy to hear hear from this individual, you know. But the problem is, you know, I don't feel like you know, I don't feel like a lot of the air is going to be really cleared out here too. So, you know, it's going to keep this relationship very heavy, or that it's going to, you know. Uh, there's still going to be elephants in the room here with the Ace of Pentacles here and the Death card here, Scorpio energy. Best thing to do is to just, you know, really keep things the way that it is. You know, I feel like you don't want to open the Pandora's box again because I feel like you're going to end up getting hurt. Yeah, I feel like you're going to end up getting hurt here. What else do we have here for Aquarius? What else do we have here for Aquarius? We have the Queen of Swords here. with the King to Queen of Swords. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. The Judgment card, Sagittarius Energy. We also have the Fool card here. Yeah, a lot of you guys are definitely in this energy of finding closure here. Yeah, like I said, I feel like you guys don't want to open Pandora's box and, and, and experience what you experience with this individual here. You know, but, you know, I do feel like maybe a small percentage of you guys are like really interested in getting back together with this individual. That is completely okay if you guys choose to do that. But make sure you know what you're getting into because or make sure you know what to expect with this individual here you know sometimes you know as human beings in these types of situations it takes us like a couple of tries in order for us to see what we need to see in order for us to get out you know so that's okay because that is your journey here right so Aquarius. I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.